This is calculator question number seven from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a pa paragraph describing the weekly pay for Raymond. We're told that he has a base salary for a 40 hour week plus overtime, and overtime is paid at an hourly rate for time beyond the 40 hours, and his weekly income is 800 plus 30x. And the question is, what is the interpretation of the number 800 in this context? College Board often asks you to interpret a slope or intercept in context. In this case, we have an expression 800 plus 30x. The slope is 30, the intercept is 800. And the 800 is the value of weekly income when x is 0, where x is the overtime hours beyond 40. Since the weekly income is a base salary plus overtime, when overtime is zero, the 800 is his base salary, which is choice A. It's a good idea to always read all options because sometimes that will call your attention to something you may have missed in the paragraph. Choice B, total overtime pay for the work week in dollars would be 30 times X. So that is not the 800. Choice C, total number of hours in a year that Raymond works in addition to his normal hours. There's no reference to years in the paragraph, so that not, would not be the correct answer. And choice D is Raymond's hourly wage in dollars per hour for time worked in addition to the 40 hours. The hourly wage for time worked in addition is the slope. Your income goes up by 30 for each additional hour. That's the hourly rate. But they're not asking about the slope 30. They're asking about the intercept. So the correct answer would be choice A. Remember, the College Board will ask you to interpret slope or intercept or both in context, and it's important to read the question carefully to make sure that you're getting the correct context. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.